shop. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Jamil is the shizzle. He, you know. I try. He tries. He's doing pretty much everything in the raw and I would say holistic diet, whole food type movement. He's here with Pillow and I, and I, I first, um, I heard about Drew Mill, got connected with him through We Like It Raw. We Like It Raw is um, is a place on the web where people can get connected to people in the live food community. And it's less about like nutritional focus than it is about just quality people connecting. My biggest kind of joy in life is connecting people and making sure that individuals have friends in whatever cities they go to. We have a blog where we post about events and updates and things like that. And then we have a community site called Give It To Me Raw. We have a new site coming out called Raw Spot, which is kind of like a really simple, easy to use interactive map of all the different live food locations and farmers markets throughout the United States and the world. Yeah, it's cool too. You've got all these like community leaders, exciting people to follow. I really respect people that are authors and teachers, but We Like It Raw is mostly focused on Profiling people who I call, um, for lack of a better term, like professional amateurs. They're people that have just learned about health and things like that themselves and got so into it that they started teaching other individuals. And so I like hiding in, highlighting people that have just really quality, authentic stories to teach. If you're, you're looking to empower and educate people through your own experience, going to your different sites, we like the raw, give to me raw. It, um, it helped kind of just, it was kind of like somewhat of an unassembled model, you know, just for inspiration, trying to figure out like how you're going to get your own experience out there to help people. So it's, I think it's great for that too. A lot of people come to the site and kind of see, oh, okay, this person isn't like crazy. They aren't like, nothing wrong with hippies, but they aren't like too hippie-ish. Mm -hmm. They seem like a normal individual. They have interests outside of just this, so they're not considered an extremist. And um, I could see myself wanting to sit down and share tea with them, or hang out with them, or do something with them. And just that alone shows people that this lifestyle is possible, and it, there's some, there might be something to it. And they're finding that there's many ways to live this. There's no right or wrong way. It's not about being perfect. It's only about kind of including more in your lifestyle and finding what works for you. Because at the end of the day, to be very honest with you, most of the friends that I have that are happiest in life, their happiness is only very partially related to what they eat. The rest of it is just living your passion, making sure you're giving back, feeling like you have incredible relationships, supporting relationships, things like that, friendships, incredible friendships. It's just this whole identification. Yes, you are what you eat, but you don't want to identify. You know, your body is what it, eat, what it eats, but you're not. You don't want to walk around with this label in your head like I'm this and I'm that, and you just go around labeling everything. It's really hard to navigate around. It's hard to explain to people or to express that. I feel like without a label, it's been challenging for me at least. What I choose to do is that I eat a diet rich in raw foods. I'm not a raw foodist. I'm not anything. And don't try to label me, and I'm not going to label myself either as well, I think that's a much healthier way to think about things because you don't want to identify with what you, with with like the food that you eat. It kind of makes people feel claustrophobic. Just some thoughts. Yeah. Okay, so what is a Drew Mill gangster party all about? The quality of any party comes down to the individual people that are there. And anytime we host an event or anything like that, we always want to keep that in mind. It's the individual people. So there's a Lisa, there's a Beth, there's this guy, there's that. And individually, these people all have fantastic stories, right? And they have all fantastic things to share. So to me, back in college, a quality party might be going out to a nightclub with like great music, and that's it. But that's that's nice, and good music is nice, but to me now it's all about conversation. What are the conversations, the ideas that are shared? Because one of the things is, once you get further and further into the lifestyle of thinking, holistically, acting holistically, eating holistically. You want to take the things that you've learned and you want to share with other people. So I'm big on being an ambassador. Anytime people come out to my events, I'm always introducing one person to another. Hey Lisa, you should meet this person. Hey Tisa, you should meet this person. Ben and Nair, you guys should meet and talk about this. So I like creating that space and I encourage other people to do that as well too. 
Because anytime people are coming to the party, in the back of their mind is always this thing like, oh, who am I going to meet? Am I going to connect? What are people going to think of me? So I like making sure that people know this is a safe place, a place to just put your ideas out there and to talk not only about you, but what are you passionate about? What do you want to bring to this earth? And what difference do you want to make? Conscious party. Conscious party. I love it. So what else have you got in the works? Separate from this, I'm taking a lot of the technology that I've learned from the raw food movement and just all the experiences. And I work with an incredible doctor here in New York City, Dr. Alejandro Younger. Him and I have a company called Clean. And um, we're just kind of bringing a lot of this stuff without putting a label on it, without calling it raw foods, and just keeping it under this umbrella of clean. We use clean in terms of just bringing consciousness and awareness to your lifestyle. That's food, how you live, mind, body, wellness, things like that. So one of the greatest things that we've done is that using a lot of this technology in his book, it's spread like wildfire. And every week, a different celebrity or somebody is talking about how this program and this lifestyle of cleansing, using green juices and, and healthy plant-based products um, has revolutionized the way that they think about health. And so I'm much more focused on that because I think that I like raw foods and I've learned a lot from there. And I want to take some of those principles and package it in a nice, easily digestible way without giving it a label and just saying this is good for you. You should try this out. Check this out. This is good. You'll enjoy it. It'll make your health feel better. And people do it and they love it. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, everybody check out We Like It Raw. Um, give it to me raw. All these amazing websites that Drew's created. And uh, don't forget to eat your beets. And check out rawbeets.com. See you guys. Later.